Your next assignment is going to be to model a air dryer. So if you start Katia and you go to your K drive um, in the course folder 324 under global materials, you will see a product called hair dryer. Inside that product is a part called dryer shell. So if you open up the product, you're going to see a product with an imagine and shape image in the background. Make sure you're in shaded display mode, because if you're not in shaded display mode, it will not show the image. It should warn you to, uh, that you should be in shaded display mode. So notice I've got a product already started here. Um, take, open this up, take it, and use Katia's file management tools. So go file and go file management, or actually save management and save each of these, the product and your part, to your individual uh, K drive folder. So you select it and change it to your, your own individual folder. Once you get that done and you get the new location path set up here, then hit OK. Um, I've already got mine saved, so I'm not going to do that. So this is what we're going to end up modeling, or what you're going to end up modeling. Uh, it's going to be this hair dryer that you see in the background. Now, the model you're going to have is going to be a conceptual model, so it needs to be close. Uh, it's got to be close. It's going to be one of the rubrics I'll look at, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just got to be close. So uh, keep that in mind. Also, I want you, of course, working in the part, not the product. So I'm going to double select here and go into uh, the part, and then I've got to get into Imagine and Shape Workbench. And there we go. So I'm in the Imagine and Shape Workbench. I'm in the part. You can see this Imagine and Shape icon and the respective tools. So let me get my tools organized how I like it. I am working out the Citrix server here. Typically, I like to put Create first. So that's modification. Here's the Create menu option. Creation. And then I've got modification. I will put next. And then let's see. That is called styling surface. So that's how I like to have mine lined up. Of course, you can line yours up ever how you want to, but that's the way I like to roll. So um, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, I'm going to hide this here in a few minutes and uh, actually delete it in the end so you won't have it. Sorry, uh, but uh, this, let's just think about what's involved in this. And this isn't complete. There's still a few things that need to be done. I don't like G0 corners, as you know. So that's a G0 corner on the bottom. This is an opening here, so that's okay. So, um, but think about what shapes would be involved in what you see here. And I'll just give it away. The main shape that you see up top is a cylinder. Now, I raised one, both ends, obviously, raised both ends. And then for this end, I put in a sphere. And then I chopped the sphere up into a half sphere. And then I did a merge tool. I will demo that today. Fairly easy to do once you've practiced it a few times. And then the bottom here is also a cylinder. And then I would put a sphere or some other, uh, maybe even a circle and merge the bottoms in bottom in but notice how we got a merge going on here so this is probably the most difficult part is getting what ends up being here merged into the handle and that just requires an open top on the cylinder and some type of hole on the bottom of this original cylinder and that and that's the challenge i even had a little bit of a challenge with it so uh, let's begin um so I'm going to create a geometric set, work out of geometric sets. If that is going to be a rubric point with lots of, with easy points to get on your rubric or easy points to lose on your rubric. So I'll call it, I'd like to call my geometric sets IMA, but I'm going to just call this one IMA2 because I already have an IMA. So you see the geometric set go there. You can see what I currently have under here and I will hide this. So you don't see it I just for demo purposes I may pull it back uh, but I'm working under this particular geometric set 
So in order to work on our geometric set, make sure you go um, define a work object. Now we'll put you under there. By the way, I'm going to try to break this video up into a couple of chunks, maybe three or four chunks if I don't forget. Uh, primarily because I've been having trouble recording this morning and also I think it's better for you to to uh, have it in smaller chunks as well so i um, not sure I'm going to use analysis but I'll leave that sitting there so we want to drop it a cylinder first so the cylinder will drop in on end view uh, so I'm going to manipulate my orthographic views here so I can get it's looking like a right side view and so the cylinder is going to go here so at the center of the origin not the center of the workspace so one thing you need to make sure you check is that you go to options and you go to um, shape and imagine in shape and that you set that the primitive creation center will be at the origin center I think the default is view center so make sure you change that to origin center and then whatever units you prefer to work in I I'm in millimeters I want you, you probably need to go ahead and get used to working in millimeters I mean there's no probability about it you need to be used to working in millimeters I'm trying to change most of my content in my classes where I'm working in millimeters so I'm just gonna leave it in millimeters so I could be thinking in millimeters so I'm gonna hit OK so the cylinder is going to come in right here. So I'm going to go onto the creation toolbar and I'm going to grab a cylinder. And then notice it drops it in. And I think that's a hundred millimeter by a hundred millimeter cylinder. So when you've got a surface activated, you're going to see this tool palette. This is an extremely important uh, tool. I just leave mine floating here in space. So I have the tool palette floating right here, and then I have my other three toolbars docked, uh, the other three toolbars that we'll be using. Now, I'm going to do a little dynamic rotating here. I'll tell you what, let's just go to the front view. I do a lot of view manipulation here. So I want to go to the front view. And let's just see what needs to be changed. That's looking okay there. So what I want to do is I'm going to do a little face drag. quality of this video may not be great because they aren't working off the Citrix server. So I want to grab a face. So I've got face selected here. I want to do translate. I want to grab this face. Just make sure you're careful that you grab the, the face because it that you're, you're wanting to grab. And you'll see the little robot change to that location. And once you get it grabbed, you can manipulate, you can go back to the orthographic view and just do a little bit of a slide there to get it out where it needs to be and the same way here so you'll see me jumping back and forth between views quite a bit all right so rotate it back now I'm going to need to do some splitting and I've got if you're looking at the shape I've got a point of inflection so that's telling me it needs to at least be a third degree. So when I say third degree, that means we need four subdivisions. So I need one, two, and actually I need, it's a third degree. So yes, I need four subdivisions. So let's begin and do a face divide on this. And then we'll come back and make these ends smaller. So I wanted to come up here to the surface styling. I believe that's the name of this. Yeah, styling surfaces. And I want to do face cutting. I said face divide. Do not do face subdivision. Do face cutting. And I'm going to take, and I'm going to do actually, if I did a face cut now, it's going to cut it right down the middle with one, and I can change it to two. That's actually not too bad there. So that is a third degree there. And I, see, I know it's third degree because I got one, two, three, four subsections, or the line itself has one, two, three, four vertices or four control points. I want to 
that is going to come back and I may I can always come back and add you can take away subdivisions too but I'm going to leave that just like this for now and so if I'm happy with it I'm going to take and do the apply and then also you can come up here to um, this modification and then hit that and it is really applied in so now what I want to do next so I've kind of got it broken into chunks so now let's take this face and make it small down to this size now I need to keep it circular so I'm going to do a face select and here I'm going to do an affinity scale so uh, affinity scale will allow you to scale around multiple axes so um, let's see if I can get this to work I always have trouble with affinity scale but so affinity let's just go ahead and do all three axes at the same time really I'm doing this X and the Z axis you can do them individually and there is a way I just got to remember how there's a way to do two but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the control key and just do them all together yeah that's working and now I may have to move yeah that's that's working fine that's the control key I'm holding down sometimes I forget that but there's my control key so I'll get it I'll get it close that's close enough close enough for design work now I like that so I'm going to come up here to this modification and punch it in so so it's accepted now let's do the same affinity type of scale with this um, it's not a face but it's a series of connected edges so what I've got to do is I've got to uh, come back up to modification so I pick modification then I'm going to do edge selection so I've got face edge and vertices edge selection and then I'm going to do linear propagation and I'm going to go back to translation now, I will go back to affinity I just like to go back to translation so I'm going to come here and notice I, because I did edge and I did propagation when I selected there it propagated all the way around so now if you see my um, little robot sitting there it is in the middle of those four lines so I can go back to side view and I can do a full three axis affinity scale by holding down the control key now that is is normal so I mean that is what happens so what I'm going to do because really I just want two axes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to and that's fine it's probably not the best way to do this but I'm going to still scale that down and then I scaled it down and what I'm going to do now is oh no wonder sorry I didn't do an affinity scale I did a translation oh so affinity scale. I was wondering why that was looking a little bit funny. There, that's what I'm looking for. There's my affinity scale and three. I, I was moving it along the. I guess the control key moves it along the x-axis or z-axis. So let me get to the side view. It's early in the morning. I haven't finished my second cup of coffee yet. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. So I'm gonna get it about right there. Uh, it's, that's close. All right, now let's let's manipulate. Let's do this one. So again, I've got linear. Tell you what, let's punch that in as being complete. Don't forget to do this. Punch that right here. It's called modification. Make sure it's complete. Do it one more time. It brings this back up. So I'm going to again continue with edge and then linear propagation select that edge and what I want to do with this is actually do a translation and want to move this forward just a bit don't want to move I actually want to leave it right the reason why I want to leave it right here I was tempted to move it more in here 
but I am going to need a hole in here for this handle. So I'm tell you what, I'm just going to leave it right there. And let's do, and while I've got it selected, an affinity propagation. I'm going to do, a, or in this case, an affinity scale of around three axes. I'm just going to blow that up. Tell you what, I'm thinking now, as I move along, let me punch that in. And I'm thinking now, as I move around, oops, Control Z is your friend here. So let me, I don't know what I did there. But let me do, that's why I like to go back to translation because sometimes when I pick entities and I have affinity selected, I get all kinds of issues. So I want to select there. Go back to my side view. I think I, do, I think I want to do a little bit more scaling here. All right, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. I'll tell you what. Let's don't do scaling. Let me do a translation first. This is more of an art than a science. I'm telling you. So you'll see when I'm so I'm moving this in. Because I know later I'm going to need to connect up here with this handle. Now I'm going to do an affinity scale with a control. Hold the control key down and just scale that up just a bit. Yeah, that's working. So punch that in. And let's do the rear. So I can do face select on this one. So I'll come back up here to modification, then I can go down to face select and select that face. And now let's do a, an affinity scale again, holding down the control key to get that down to the size I want it. You can see that now again, remember that's is not an orthographic image in the background. So we just gotta be careful, get it close. And, and it is going to end up with a rounded sphere in the back. So why don't I just do a translation and leave a little bit of room for that sphere. Let me go back out just a tad. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. Now, I am going to select modification to accept that and then let's go ahead and I'm going to just do my select arrow and when I do that it takes me out of modification you can see where I'm sitting here now compared to the hair dryer in the background so um, let's remove these end faces this is going to be open and the, the end one is going to have a sphere in place of it uh, that's going to be merged in so um, to get back into it, I'm just going to double tap it. it. Takes me back into it. I want to do face select. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I'm just going to come up here to this surface styling and go to erasing. And I want to do a face erase. So do a face erase. And I'm just going to make sure this is, you can get tricky here and end up with the wrong face. So control Z is your, fan, uh, is your uh, friend. So I'm going to select there that face if that check it carefully if it if you got it right hit the little check mark then i want to rotate it around and do this side i'm on the citric citric server here so you know how frustrating that can be so punch that in and accept it and looks good so i'm going to accept it and select modification oops yeah that's okay i want to punch out here hit the cursor key and if you didn't do the modification and select it and you try to get out it's going to say hey you haven't applied your changes so to apply your changes this modification is is the primary tool to use so i want to stop the recording there uh, just so i've got a kind of a splice